Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and I'm getting a few things set up as we do. Um, dude, sorry, brain farts. Um, <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm like, everything's here's handmade. So if you've had any questions, feel free to ask. And I'm like, why is the booth intro in my head like I think I'm having withdrawals from vending if that makes sense <laughs> which doesn't make sense to me um trying to get the comments loaded on my um to boblet there we go hey Daniel hey random kid hey rebel hey Eve hey Angie hey Gisela hey Jenny how are y'all doing today finally caught a live stream. Hey, Misty. It feels like it's been so long. How have you been? Hey, Ruth. Hey, Michelle. Kizzy. We got a lot of the longtime crew here today. It's good to see y'all. Okay. That. Let me get my coffee. <laughs> I left that over here. <laughs> okay, let's let's get something creatively done. Love this channel. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> we will be getting some crafty stuff done today. We have plans. Um, to be productive today. It's actually been a surprisingly productive day. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This past week, I've been waking up at like noon, <laughs> like easily. Um, and today I woke up at like I think seven. I got a solid night's sleep. I woke up refreshed, like feeling good. Um, and got like a whole bunch of stuff done. I actually cleaned out a couple of inboxes. I'm not completely caught up with messages, but I'm working on it. Um, just got caught up with a whole lot of stuff that's just been on my mind lately. And getting the house prepped for Maddie coming to stay with us for like a month this summer. I'm so excited. Um, also doing a lot of prep for this weekend's auction. So the gardens are looking great. Oh, well, thanks, Lost in Thought. Yeah, shameless plug. Go check out my vlog channel. Um, we have mulch <laughs> in the garden and stuff. A few small surprises coming your way this week and next. Couldn't add a note to Ooh. Thank you. Speaking of which, we do have some mail to open, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oof. Okay, let me get some sips of coffee in here. Hey, Juan. I'm doing really well, actually. Like, exceptionally well. Can I show you guys some jewelry first? Like, first and foremost, I want to show off some shiny that I made. Like, ooh. Uh, this most recent fairy house that I had sculpted really got, like, some G creative juices flowing. Some juicy juices flowing. <laughs> um, so... Flipping the camera on. The auction is this Friday, Deborah. We'll have driven to the halfway meeting point on Wednesday, like very late on Wednesday. And then picked up Maddie and driven home, so we'll probably be home very late on Thursday. And then the auction is on Friday. So I'm trying really hard to get prepped up for all that stuff now. Um, speaking of which, we're, yeah, the, well, I was going to try to do the pictures actually this evening. But it mostly just put a wrench in the works that we're not going to be able to get any more stuff made. We're going to be... The coffee's super good. Misty, Randy made it for me, so it's, like, delicious. Um, I'm going to be making a necklace for this pendant today to get it very much in the same style as this necklace for this turquoise tree that we had been working on. <laughs> right? Uh, right on, Shepherdess. But I really love these nuggets that Jen sent me. But it just went perfect with that slab. So I have some malachite. It's also from Jim. That we're going to be making a... Because uh, this is malachite and turquoise. So I was going to do like a malachite and turquoise necklace for it. Um, but we also have some other stuff. So I wanted to show you guys just a quick run through. Of These are all the chains. For all the pendants 
<laughs> so I'm going to try to do this in a way that everything isn't just getting tangled. But I've gotten kind of inspired. I was going to say a hair up my butt, but that's just code for inspired. Um, to make some like epoxy sculpt and shell and silk floral um, jewelry. Just like you. Try it out. See how it goes. See if y'all like it. So there's that one. Now I have no idea on the prices yet. I haven't talked to Randy about it. He's the one who keeps me from just giving everything away for free. Speaking of giveaways though, this one's one of my favorites. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway at the hour mark. So if you want to leave a comment on last week's Tuesday live stream. Yeah. Um, Randy's got to go get an oil change. He's got an appointment. Well, I gotta make sure the yeah, that's true. But, uh, hey, Mandy. I love this one. I absolutely love it. Little conch shell. Not a conch shell. What kind of shell is that? I don't know. This one's one of my favorites, too. I don't know if I can... Inquiring minds want to know if epoxy sculpt stinks. It doesn't, Amber. It has, maybe if you like put your nose real close to it, it has a little bit of a smell, but like you're going to have to be like sniffing it. <laughs> so, which I, I'm not going to say I don't recommend. Like it's, I don't, I don't know, just <laughs> it's definitely of all of the products that I use, the least stinky. I really liked this one. And then with the little... <laughs> palpability testers are so pretty cool all right on Angela also I'm just going to let you guys know um, it helps a whole lot if you do at Yvonne Williams it'll highlight your comment in orange and then I can look over on my tablet and uh, and see it because otherwise I don't know if y'all are talking to me or to each other or to yourselves or what's up I really like this one too. I've been saying that about every single one I wanted to make it kind of look like coral because I've been watching, was it, is that on Netflix, Randy, the Earth at Night show? Yeah. Yeah. And I watched their Ocean at Night one. And did y'all know that, like, coral reefs fluoresce? That shit is the coolest. Some of them, yeah. Um, <laughs> but so I wanted to, I don't know, I was, I was inspired. And this one's just a wee bitty. Hey, Amanda, how's it going? Yep, just like that. Thank you, Daniel. Amber says, I'm thinking of switching from polymer clay to epoxy sculpt, and I'm so sensitive to chemical smells. I'd highly recommend um, their products, the epoxy sculpt. They have it in a couple of different colors. Um, now, the thing is, though, is unlike polymer clay that stays soft until you bake it, it does have, uh, like... A curing window so my my tip for it would be to uh, mix a little at a time not about art but I thought I noticed your pants are Mariska and I may have a little obsessed with their stuff yes they are wait Mariska maybe yeah I think so I think so I think you're right I don't know <laughs> I was like who's Mariska why does she want my pants um Dana, hey Dana, says, how do you get so much made? What's your process? I sit down and I like assembly line it. So what I did with these shells is I picked out like a whole bunch of shells. Um, and I had all my silk floral on hand from doing the fairy house. Like everything was kind of already out. And then um, the high temperature glue gun that I used was already plugged in and ready to go. And then I just went through and kind of you know, picked bits and pieces here and there of different silk floral and crystals and shells. Um, yes, my clasps are in a dice container. Hashtag Chessex. <laughs> um, and then I mix up the epoxy sculpt and kind of like do each phase of all the pieces at the same time. Um, but a whole lot of it is like, I don't know, you guys, I'm a workaholic. Like, I genuinely, I'll just sit down and, and like, you know, 12 hours later, Randy's like, have you eaten yet? And I'm like, no, please feed me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that little one. So lots and lots of little... Uh... This one's probably one of my favorite. I know I said that again. But it's a genuine freshwater pearl and a quartz crystal from whenever we went mining in 
Arkansas last summer. So I really, really love that one. And the epoxy sculpt really holds on. So I didn't have to do any drilling or anything. So yeah, these are, these are I made just a whole bunch of these. I think everyone is a workaholic. I did something they enjoy as far as being a workaholic. It's my day job, so I don't know. Yeah. No, it's, I get super, like, if somebody tries to tell me what to do, like, I, I have a hard time working for other people because it's like, I'll, I'll do my job, but if somebody comes in and, like, starts trying to micromanage me, I'll lose my shit. Like, I'm like, don't tell me what to do. I really like this one, too. Little Aqua Aura part. Um, I am. On my phone, not on my tablet, where I've been looking at comments. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's got another one of those little pearls. Can you use clay and bake the shells? You can, but um, I wouldn't with the silk floral that I'm incorporating. So that's why I used the epoxy sculpt. Yes. Are you reading that or saying that? Okay, so that's exactly what I just said. Oh, thank you, honey. Your penis really helps me understand things whenever you speak. I couldn't have understood it without... I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> keep going. Your penis powers. Sorry, oh, by the way, our content is not for children. Uh, ever, probably. So... <laughs> My delicate feminine mind couldn't understand it. <laughs> I love Randy's good sense of humor. <laughs> Tanya says, nice mansplaining, Randy. Randy, he's the best. He's the best at mansplaining. Actually, that's like, he never <laughs> mansplains. I really like this one. Who's Randy? <laughs> And so, yeah, so there's another one. And I kind of just liked that. <laughs> and my heat pumps on the fits, y'all. It's 88 degrees in my house. I'm going to sweat to death. Oh, no. Oh, Catherine. Yeah, Swana, sauna sweated out. Have you thought about doing a Zoom meeting? You could see us. We could see each other. Maybe for Patreon Sunday. Maybe, Patty. And then now we're getting in the realm of wire wrapping. And I got all these chained up and ready to go for... Um, for the auction. So we've got that one. I followed along with a bunch of Oxana Crafts tutorials this month. This one's actually been sitting on the work table for ages. This is a bloodstone uh, cut point with epoxy sculpt and wire. And that crap, it holds on. Like, there is no wiggle. Mm-hmm. Picture Jasper is gorgeous. Though I still, I have yet to meet a rock that I'm not like, hey, pretty thing. <laughs> Did you hear they have brownie M&M's now? Oh, goodness, I didn't know, Judy. I'm still up to my ears in the brownie, or in the uh, M&M's that you sent. I've been making brownies with the M&M's that you sent. Those have been very good. Well received. <laughs> I really like that one. I'm hoping some of these bad boys will find... A new home. This one's actually from the tutorial. Still really like how that one came out. <laughs> oh, thanks, Misty. I really like this hematite. Do what, babe? <laughs> I love the. Mm, the Snapchat filter quality of... Uh... <laughs> I was going to sit here and keep making faces. <laughs> so... <laughs> In the uh, hematite. <laughs> Ooh, and then this is one of the uh, puddle calves that Randy had made. Oops, bumped the tripod. 
Where do you get most of your stones? I ordered some and really got junk. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> Gem and Mineral shows a lot of the time. Um, most of the prettiest ones here lately have been sent by y'all. Uh, I, I, I buy a lot off of eBay, honestly, but I'm very, like, discerning about... I always sit there with, like, a ruler next to me um, and, like try to make sure that I'm actually getting what's in the picture and that it's like a good size um <laughs> yeah this one's handmade glass by Randy with an opalite bead we haven't gotten frit for use in the lamp working but we have been making some frit cabs uh in our using kiln for the craft along kits now I love this one with the druzy what are those bulldozers I've got three more pendants that I want to show you guys. This was an other Oksana tutorial. <laughs> and then I really like that one. I can hear you chewing on your butt. Oh, that's fair. And then I really like this one, too. <laughs> glass is a whole nother beast but I love it absolutely love it and I'm not gonna lie I'm just really glad to not be making uh polymer clay and resin cabs oh. no not <laughs> not Randy the dog the dog's chewing on his butt <laughs> oh that's good coffee though um okay so we're going to do some mail opening just real quick. I have a couple of packages. Um, Joe, are you here? Is there a Joe in the house? Joe back here. Oh, and I got stung by something, but it's healing and it itches so bad. And Jules, I got something from you as well. <laughs> Okay, so four packages. This one's actually been sitting here the longest, so I'll... Woo! Oh, and I didn't even show you all the rings. I have no idea who this one is for, so... I do not have scissors. There you go. Mail time. Hey, Jean. Ooh, oh, what on earth? M&K Artistic Treasures. Okay, well, I'm glad I opened this in time. They are, this is from Kelly with M and K Treasures, and she is having her first live auction tomorrow. And the channel is Say It Right 77 on YouTube, I believe. Oh my goodness. We'll dump this out. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh, Kelly, these are gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That green. A really nice blue piece, too. Oh, Kelly, I, I bet you're going to do great in your auction. Oh, look at that one, a keychain. <laughs> I know, resin's so beautiful to me. Oh, Kelly, these are just gorgeous. Oh, and that one's a little friendship necklace. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly. And good luck to you on your auction. We'll have to pop by and check it out. I wonder what time. 1 p.m. It doesn't specify whether it's Central or Eastern or Mountain time, but we'll check out the channel and see if we can't find you online. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you so much, though, Kelly. That's fantastic. Okay. Now we have from Jill. Yeah, Alyssa says, I love resin when it cooperates. 110%. Like, I kind of wish... Um, Resin casting would be a lot more fun if I had, like, a clean room that stayed clean. Which is not something that exists in my home. Which site did you say the auction is? Um, say it again. Or say it right. 77. S-A-Y-I-T-R-I-G-H-T 77. So, I hope... I hope that's the right channel. I'll have to check it out and... That's very generous of you too, Kelly. Oh, Joe, you taped this box up really well. <laughs> this is the first part of the stream was going. Hey, we're we're opening mail, and uh, Kelly, the lady who is with K and M and K Artistic Treasures, uh, sent um, some mail, and now I'm opening up some mail from Joe. Uh-oh. Okay. Theory Vaughn. I saw this tutorial by Lon on and was inspired. I thought of you immediately. A few embellishments were added. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for all you do. Joe Glasstree, a.k.a. Joe Lecture. <gasps> oh! Joe! That's a hat! <laughs> oh, that is so cool! It's like a little garden hat. Oh, Joe. This is fantastic. Oh, that is super cute. I love the little headband that you put on it. <laughs> What's up? You're reading the chat? Huh. Uh. What's happening in the chat? Remember me? Been a while. When did we remind you? <laughs> Announce your voice. Hey, Stormy. How's it hanging? <laughs> oh, my hands are all itchy. And also, more shameless promotion. Here is Joe's info. I am going to cover up the phone number, Joe, just because this is the internet and people are pretty weird. Um, but if y'all want to check Joe out, on Etsy. That's probably blurry. There we go. There we go. Not blurry again. But yeah, go check her out, you guys. Shameless plug. And that's the thing is that if any of y'all want to send me stuff, definitely put one of your cards in it. If it's your handmade stuff and you want me to like kind of show it off in the stream, as I flail my hands fanatically. That is so cute. That when your packaging was on point. <laughs> But um, be sure to send business cards. That way I can shamelessly promote your stuff. <laughs> and all y'all go follow these people who so generously sent us beautiful shinies. Okay. Well, hey, Sam Dog. Well, Sam Dog's hanging out with us today. Who's my good boy? Who's my old man? Yes, you are. No, I'm not going to feed you nothing. Oh, Hazy Dog. <laughs> They're just sniffing the box. <laughs> They're like, is it treats? I don't think it's treats today. I don't know, though. It might be. Let's get this opened up. <laughs> Sam and Z are my boys. How old are they now? You guys are 12 years old, aren't you? I was there the day you were born, man. Get up here. I love you. Ow, you're just punching me in the front butt. <laughs> okay. Hey, Randy, can you call them? No? Nope? Okay. A two headed service over here. Are you gonna help me? Sam. I, they're shameless. Come here. Hey. <laughs> My spoiled children. That's all right. <gasps> Daddy's gonna eat all your dog treats. I can't even talk. You don't even speak English. Go get dog treats from Daddy. Go in. Will you call him again, honey? Using hand motions isn't going to work. You yeah. must, you have to summon him by speaking. Samuel. 
<laughs> He's just gonna sit on his butt. <laughs> well, I'm having allergies. <laughs> I have a dog myself, so he probably smells on the box. All right, on. Hey, Jules. Noises and I've dog for up my nose now. I'm kind of excited, Jules. What's in here? I guess I'll find out. <gasps> we get to feed them little doggy biscuits to encourage their bad behavior. Come on, come here. Sit. You gotta sit on your butts. You wanna lay down? Oh, <gasps> who's good boys? Cat is. No, that's you guys. <laughs> good boys. Oh gosh, those biscuits do not smell as good as they look. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Randy, we are legion. Oh no. No, this is amazing. We can actually put M&Ms in these ones. Oh. Ooh. And this is the gang you were telling me about, Joe. Not Joe, uh, Jules, sorry. No, gang, like uh, Bloods and Crips, only but with M&M's. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder if I'm going to have to put money in. I think the blue one goes on the blue one, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, he's got a saxophone. Jules, thank you so much. This is awesome. I never knew the need that I had for, uh, how do I get the butt back on? There it goes. For gumball machines in my entire life. <laughs> and now we've got a container for each kind of m and that Judy sent us. <laughs> so, okay, so. Whenever the M&Ms are empty, we'll find one to put dog treats on that sound. Because, like, it sounds horrible. I don't have thumbs. Um, Lydia says, hi, Ron and Randy. Hey, Lydia. I sent you an email. Oh, no. Oh, Lydia, I'm so sorry about your friend. We will honor her through crafting. Our heart goes out to you, though. That's, there's no words for a time like this. Sorry, I have a bunch of dog hair in my mouth. It's a Friday, the auction. It is, Jean. Hasn't been, but seems like it. I haven't been on YouTube since like a month. Yeah, no, this last month, you guys, like, blew by. I'm so sorry about your friend, though, Lydia. Like, that's... <sighs> Give yourself a hug from us. She went to the, the great craft room in the sky. Also... Just group discussion real quick. As I keep flipping the camera back and forth. There we go. What would like the heavenly craft room be like? Would it like uh, the surface that anything that you put on it, it could just, it's like that magic coffee table that it just gets put away. <laughs> In my magic craft room, like my magic heavenly craft room, nothing would ever get dusty. Like dog fur would like, once it falls off the, the dog, it would just like vaporize. Like no dust, no trace. Just, yeah. <laughs> fit to be died is like yours. If you could see all the dog fur. It would be organized always, right? <laughs> Things that never run out. The unending bead trays. And like, piles of stuff would never fall over. Regardless of how tall they get. Yeah, gravity wouldn't work as well. <laughs> well, I mean, it would, but except for, you know, when you drop stuff. There'd always be good lighting. And my eyeballs would work. And my hands would never hurt. 
Mm -hmm. Everything ever. <laughs> every needle would always be threaded and every thread would always have a needle ready to sew with. Yeah. Oh, my bobbin thread would never slip and get all bunched up and weird on the bottom. <laughs> Never-ending spools of wire. Yeah, you get a pair of wire on top. Okay, let's get started making the necklace to this bad boy. So this one's straight copper. Um, so I'm going to grab, always have ideas, never run out of materials. My wire would never kink or break, right? I would always cut off the perfect amount of wire for a project. <sighs> so this is sounding better and better, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Aw, oh, Stormy says never ending Vaughn videos. Now, in craft room heaven, Vaughn would actually put out videos on a regular basis and she would always stay in frame. And the audio would always be like a proper uh, level of loudness. I have no idea, lost in thought. If I knew, maybe I'd stop it from happening as much, but no, it's, that's always happening. So I've learned to just lower my standards, uh, honestly. Randy clones? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, by Daniel. Heck yes. <laughs> okay, so these are some beads from Jim. There wouldn't be any mosquitoes. Like, I know that's not like a craft room thing, but I love going out and crafting in the garden, except for mosquitoes. They ruin everything. Disease carrying miscreants. Ooh, right on, Christy. You gotta quit the tripod. Sorry, I don't mean to keep bumping the tripod. <laughs> hey, Tim, how's it going? Normally, if the bottom thread is being awkward, then there's something wrong with the top thread. Well, yeah, what's, what's wrong with my top thread then? And vice versa? Yeah. We were reading about, um, they had done some, like, there's some... I don't know if it's a bacteria or what, that you can infect the mosquitoes in and it causes them to have sterile offspring. And I'm like, oh, yeah, and I'm like, when can I get that in a jar? And just like, mosquitoes are the worst. Okay, so I'm going to come through here and I'm going to pick out some of these really pretty, slightly irregular round malachites. And I think I'm going to need, oh, like, I'm going to do 10 units, so I'm going to need 20 beads. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Oh, that might be it. 15. Hmm. Probably not a sharp needle. You should change your needle for every project. 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, that's a very likely culprit. Uh, I hadn't changed my sewing needle in about four years. Um, I typically only change them if they break. So... I have tried citronella for mosquitoes. Um, we have them really bad in this town. Like, I don't know why, but they actually send, like, a um, city vehicle through just just spraying uh, just bug spray, I guess. I don't know. Like, some sort of chemical just into the ditches and everything. So, I concocted an all-natural herbal bug repellent that seems to really work and smells great. Really? Send me the link so I can buy some. Ah, uh, thanks, Gary. <laughs> Daniel says, change that needle. It will then hopefully so smooth like a butter. You mean the needles aren't supposed to just be chopping through the fabric like brute force? 
<laughs> hey, Randy. It's getting about time. Okay. I'm not running you off. I just... I'd hate for you to miss your appointment. So now I'm going to cut 10 lengths. Right on. Cedar oil makes my skin swell up. Like, that's the thing is, like, lemongrass and cedar oil. Like, I love the way they smell. And they seem to be very effective. Um, but it irritates the heck out of my skin. And honestly, that's probably my number one thing. Is I should stop trying to run around naked outside all buttered up for the... Ready for the mosquitoes to feast. Like, I may as well just go out there with an apple in my mouth. Um, be like, the buffet is open. Do what? <laughs> yeah. I had used... <laughs> then I'm going to need one of those um, sprayers that you carry on your back. Full of skin so soft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. I gotta run it out. I don't have enough rondels. I have four. I have four rondels. That is not enough. Oh, it's Randy. Hey, Purple. How's it going? <laughs> oh, thank you, Nomi. Oh, Storming, you've missed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there was somebody who commented on our uh, Goodbye Etsy video, which is like our biggest video of the year, apparently. <laughs> um, and, sorry, put my head in the thing. Um... but didn't like show proof that Randy is a human being that exists and they just very aggressively like commented who's Randy like I don't know it just tickled me I guess so it's become an on-running joke do what so it's become an on-running joke mm -hmm. ooh final cutter and heat press right on now, do you have any experience with those, Pro Pool? Because if you have the screen printing, uh, as far as this is secondhand information from other people um, who do screen printing in t-shirts, but uh, the heat-pressed vinyl doesn't have a very long life on clothing now it does work okay for like signs and stuff though so is a randy meme a little bit april <laughs> no one better why randy <laughs> <laughs> why is randy did we say who is randy not how is randy <laughs> the only thing skins and stuff does is drown the buggers on your skin when they land on you good <laughs> drown them all Mm -hmm. Give me just a sec. I need to grab one, two, three, four. Okay. That should be enough. All right, I'll be right back now. What's up, baby? You show me the giveaway stuff? Baby. I'd say text me, but I'm streaming, so I won't be able to answer. Text Daniel if you need anything, and Daniel will tell me. Will do. He says, will do. <laughs> okay. The heat press is mainly for sublimination transfer. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have these little rondels, and then I'm going to use, let's go bright and shiny. 
It'll oxidize down a bit, I think. Oh no, I, he's leaving me here unsupervised, you guys. <laughs> the stone in the pendant is turquoise. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to. I'm going to move this so I stop bumping it. Okay. There he goes. Bye, Randy. I'm not crying. You're crying. I get separation anxiety hard. He's like my emotional support human. And I'm like, I don't like it when he's not around. <laughs> <laughs> like you think codependent is that the word okay. have you ever tried to make faux abalone with pearl primo sculpey i have and it came out pretty but i didn't i don't think i incorporated enough translucent clay um that really seems essential to the whole uh the whole look of it i think <laughs> okay, so we've cut, how long are these? Almost, they're around five inches. So I'm just going to do that bend. And bend this around. And then there's, and this is 20 gauge wire. This is the antique copper colored para wire. So it's copper core, but it's colored in a non-tarnish enamel. Do, 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 do. Man, I'm going to have to get my hands on some new clippers. I've buggered these up beyond, like, they just kind of gnaw through the, uh, the wire now. So doing a four millimeter bead. Keep that in mind. I'm trying to create abalone tiles for a box design. I was wrong. Right on. And then a malachite. And... A rondel, and then a malachite, and a bead, and now I'm gonna bend. Ooh, and we've got um, a new thing for the auction this weekend, this Friday. I'll show you guys here in just a minute. Probably whenever it gets closer to the giveaway time. We've got like 15 minutes. But yeah, so there's one link. Let me grab some rings real quick. So now I'm going to be joining our links together. These are 18 gauge, 1 8 inch. And then I'll need two of those ones. The giveaway is going to be a craft along kit. So it's going to be like um, some lampwork glass beads that I had made. Uh, some wire from Parawire and some handmade cobblestones. I like doing three rotations. I don't know why. Nice. Oof. Yeah, it's like 70 here today, so that's not bad at all, but it's very, very humid. So, we've had the window shut and running the air conditioner just to keep, if it gets too humid inside the house, the paint peels. Um, 
because whoever painted it the last couple of times it was painted. Um, we shipped out maize crates on the 16th. Very, very humid. Like, it's been jungle style, turning the rain on and off for like two days now. I watched your chainmail video using jump rings and I was able to make a small piece. Ah, uh, right on! Chainmail is a ton of fun, I'm gonna say. It's something that, um, even though we don't make a whole lot of predominantly chainmail pieces anymore. Uh, well, you know, I say that. Randy, I don't make a whole lot of predominantly chainmail pieces anymore. Randy kind of took that over. Um, and does an exceptional job at it but I do love using it as like a um incorporating like in like hybrid pieces just little elements okay <laughs> yeah no and the uh the humidity here I doubt is anything near what we're going to experience when we go pick up Maddie like Tennessee, Alabama, like deep south humidity is a whole nother beast. Like, shoot, it seemed like there'd be days that your clothes wouldn't dry on the line because it was so humid. Mary Hart says, I made veneers that are 50% translucent mixed in that I haven't baked yet, but I'm not 100% convinced on the color palette I chose, so I'm sitting here conditioning. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Ah, Mandy says closing on the house in two weeks. I can't wait to set up the craft areas. Oh, Mandy, that's so exciting. <laughs> so if I were doing a strung necklace, I would have just threaded right through the veil. But I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a drop down. Oh. Mm. All right, on Gary. All righty. What needs done is done. I'm not going to admit it. We haven't even turned our AC on yet. Oh, right on. George is beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do it like that or if I want to do where it's like threaded through. But I don't know how I'd get it to actually. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And if whoever buys it wants it different, they can just take it apart. Um. <laughs> mm. It's making me sweaty just thinking about all that humidity. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Jean. Still snow in the mountains. Snow on Saturday and Sunday in Idaho. Holy crap. Hey Jim, how's it going? You might recognize some of these beads. Tanya says, I like living in the Pacific Northwest. I take all four seasons the ability to escape to the mountains, the coast, or the city at a moment's notice. That does sound really nice. Oh, Judy. Well, thank you. I gotta watch what I say. <laughs> you all spoil me so much. Oh, goodness. Oh, Jean, I got you. Now we gotta wait till the bidding. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited for Maddie to come up here. I'm kind of nervous, though. I hope she doesn't, like, hate me or anything. Uh, well, we had a really great time hanging out with Maddie last year. 
But we also went on like a whole lot of out of the house, like outside of the house adventures. Um, and this year I'm like, well, we can go hiking. But I think she hates being outside. So I'm like, eh. So I do have plans on, um, I had ordered t like two pounds of potatoes and then forgot about them from a seed company. And uh, they got here and I'm like, oh crap, I'm out of places to plant potatoes. Um, and so we've got a spot that we were planning on putting in another bed. And I was like, well, Maddie really likes potatoes. Maybe we could plant some potatoes um, and like, I don't know, get some flowers or something. It'd just like, be fun. Hey, Christina, how's it going? I miss you. Maddie is Randy and I's niece. It's his brother's daughter. Potato chips or fries? Um, both. In this household, we love potatoes in all of its forms, like for generations now. Um, we are potato people. <laughs> but they're like the easiest thing to plant and I kind of want to... If not get her addicted to gardening, just maybe plant the seeds and maybe not hating gardening. I don't know. We worked really hard on the garden this year. I want to try to like share that with her in a way that's enjoyable. But the mosquitoes won't quit it. So <laughs> we shall see. At new house, working from home, enjoying listening. <gasps> new house? Christina? We're going to have to chat. Like, I need the deets. Um, the Jean Daniel is sharing the link to the video to comment on. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Stormy says, my family is all too sick to garden, but I have some potatoes growing in a dirt fish tank next to me. Oh, Stormy, I'm sorry, they're sick. That sounds like the most hardcore way to grow potatoes, though. Um, oh, does she like strawberries? I think so. Um, I think she still has her braces on, uh, like on her teeth. And, um, I never wore braces, so I can't relate personally, but I, as far as I understand it, there's some foods that it's just like, it doesn't matter how much you love the flavor, um, if it gets stuck up in your braces and stuff, that it's just not even worth eating it. Um, so, and I imagine strawberries might be one of the ones, oh, thanks Daniel, uh, that just with the seeds and stuff is just downright impossible, um, like, it's like, how many hours of water picking are you going to have to do just to get the strawberry seeds out of your teeth? Mm. It, it would have been my Tuesday live stream. A, a craft along with Vaughn and then whatever the date for last Tuesday was. Mm. Ah, oh, Christina, that sounds so cool. Renting a place. Oh, well, congratulations on your new home, Christina. I bet that's wonderful. It can just be so, it's it's such an adventure to kind of settle into a new place. Like, I'm addicted to that, like, new relationship energy of going someplace new. Speaking of your pond, you have all the mosquitoes. There's a, we do put pods in our mosquitoes, and we check for larvae and stuff. So it's, um, normally I would have been like, yes, you are correct. But I, I really don't think it's our pond. Um, I think it's very likely the uh, standing tires and like the tires with standing water in them in our neighbor's yard that Randy and I have no control over. But we put um, pond dunks, or I think that's what they're called. In uh, basically, if there's a body of water in our yard, it gets a pond dunk in it. Like even in our chicken water, um, if we're not going to be home to dump it out daily, we put a pond dunk in there. Mm-hmm. Jean says it's like wearing dentures. If you get a seed under them, it feels like a huge rock. I, I can only empathize. 
can you throw a pot over the fence? Quite possibly. But it's our next door neighbors and then the neighbors two houses over from that. And it's just... <laughs> Aww. You need any different sand dollars? I'll put pics for the Discord after live stream. Ooh, I'll have to check those out, Jen. Really? Stuff to spray the yard that's safe for pets, pets and plants. Right on. That'd be cool. <laughs> Does that with a boat in their neighbor's yard? Right on, Dionica. <laughs> Train Callie to deliver pods? Callie's useless yeah i'm talking to you cow she just left <laughs> she's on the it's like she won't even catch mice anymore like she's like uh listen i'm just a kitty and i'm like ah get a job you bum i love her to death though she's not really useless <laughs> mosquito dunks for ponds yeah that's what we use we get them on i think amazon in like a big 24 pack Ooh. Oh, Christina. I would like to get some potted citronella for sure. Like, being home this year for gardening has completely changed gardening for me. <laughs> like, it's really nice. <laughs> Like, this is the biggest garden we've ever had, but it's also, so far, it's being the most successful garden we've ever had, because I'm actually home to plant things and harvest things, and every morning I pick a, uh, I've got, like, a two-gallon, two-and-a-half-gallon bucket, like, it's a metal feed bucket that I just fill up with, I pull weeds till it's full, um, and these past couple of days, I haven't had enough weeds, I've had to pull some, just some clover out of the yard, and then I give it to the chickens. <laughs> right, Stormy? Okay. See, I don't know if I'd like that better or... Oops. My hands aren't working. We got one minute till the giveaway, y'all. Hmm. I think I want to do not drop down like this, but where it's actually threaded through the center. So let me take this apart. Do, 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 do. Um, to enter the giveaway, Lavender, you leave a comment on last week's live stream. And then I'm going to be going to, Randy already has it pulled up for me, the random comment picker. Okay. Yep, super durable. Excellent. I worry with malachite being a softer stone. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you might recognize them, Jim. Oops. Yeah, we'll make the, the center piece here in a minute. Ooh, I'm feeling lucky today. So I'm catching up on comments real quick. I know lockdown would have changed my plans, etc. But you found yourself missing doing all the conventions and traveling. Are you happier now with the options set up? I miss seeing some of my vendor friends. And like the uh, con goers that have become our friends over the year. Like, I'm like, man, I wonder how they're doing. But then I just send them a message. <laughs> or sit there and wonder quietly to myself because I don't want to bother them. And I don't know what they're up to because I'm bad at being a friend. Um... I'm not going to lie to you. I am. I was so ready to just stay home. Uh, Randy and I had actually, like pre-pandemic, 
um, only booked like two shows for 2020. We were like, we're going to take a year off. Let's get our health in order. I'm still fatter than ever. Actually, I lost like some and then I gained three because I ate Taco Bell. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> a, yeah, we had only booked Anime St. Louis and then Dragon Con, which hasn't as far as I'm aware, canceled yet, but Gen Con canceled, and they're just, like, barely a month before Dragon Con, so I don't know, so we might just not be doing any shows this year, period, anyways, um, but we'd only booked those two shows, um, so we were, we were really ready to take a year off and to stay at home, um, and when I, have my head deeply buried in the sand and I'm ignoring the state of the world and everything uh, I'm really enjoying <laughs> um like it'd be great if there weren't a pandemic and stuff but uh I'm enjoying it probably more than I should I love getting to be at home I love getting to do the auctions and the live streams that we're doing and it just um in it just in the garden I'm so glad we get to kidnap Maddie again this year I'm so excited about that and I'm very excited we might get to kidnap my other niece Abby possibly at the same time and then we'll have two teenage girls in the house that I can teach to craft and we can just drive Randy purely insane um <laughs> it's just I don't know like I'm excited like this is I really like getting to stay at home this year um that and the weather's been like so phenomenally perfect as well okay giveaway time y'all I'm lollygagging I get to sit in Randy's chair. Speaking of chairs, I gotta show you guys this project real quick. So, that's how these chairs are looking that we pulled down from the attic. And Ember, absolutely, you can see, loves them. But they are rough. And I've stripped and gutted this one. And I'm waiting on a couple of other things to get here before I can reupholster them. But we're going to be doing a video on my first time reupholstering anything. Um, so hopefully that won't go too horribly. <clears throat> we did give our allergies a what for though. Okay. So we've got the gumball machine. Compliments Manaya. Thank you, Manaya. And today, we are giving away, here we have some resin heart, like these are laser cut hearts with glow-in-the-dark resin um, there on the inside, as well as some little woodcut frames that you can use for your own artwork. You an itchy dog? Can you look up with them? Oh, I got a quarter. Okay. And let's see here. No cancellation note yes for Bristol. Ooh, really? Oh, my fingers are crossed. I'm hopeful. Okay, I'm going to hold it down. Oh, that's, that's terrible. There's one bead. <laughs> Let's try that again. I think it might be getting a little too low. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Um, oh, well, there's another quarter. Randy, where are you? Don't make me do this by myself. I can't be trusted to run a business on my own. Okay, let's try again. Okay, it's too low. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some beads because this is, <laughs> this is no bueno. <laughs> These are some beads that we're going to be putting into the giveaway uh, little baggie. And so we are at random comment picker. We went from having 77 comments to 77 comments. So last chance if you haven't commented already. 
will be the well, lonely little drum roll up on myself. So if you're at home, drum roll with me, okay? Do you have to send your gumball beads now? Yeah, I gotta put more beads in it. Okay, I'm gonna click the start button. We're going, drum roll guys. Woo! The winner is Ann Taylor. Says, you know that mushrooms dry really well if you have extra, then you can either rehydrate them or grind them and use them in soups or sauces or casseroles. You can also saute them and then freeze them. That's a really good tip. And you're a winner. <laughs> so congratulations, Anne. If you could send an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with your shipping address, we will get this shipped to you on the morrow, I do believe. And today's date is 5.26. Excellent. I'll put that there for Randy. Put that away. Okay, so the things that we are going to be uh, auctioning off, you guys can kind of see here, we have, it looks like we might have 13 after it's all said and done, mega load crap boxes. If y'all want to get some sneaky peas of what's in here, So this is just one of them. <laughs> uh, we will only be able to ship these to the continental US because shipping is super crazy expensive and um, like 75% of the things that we've been shipping internationally just flat out have not arrived. Like they haven't been returned to us. They're just like no delivery scan. So we're just doing these continentally. We've got a couple of leather tools, a whole bunch of leather scraps. This one looks like it is just straight leather scraps, but I wanted to get you guys' feedback and see what you thought. And that's, we've got 10 boxes that are just straight scrap leather and I've got a couple of tools, um, yeah, uh, put in there. So the starting bid on those is going to be like $40, but that covers the $20 shipping. Now, when if you buy it, um, there'll be like a $4 shipping just because I can't figure out how to do free shipping on the website. But that covers like any shipping and handling and we'll be able to put any other things that you buy in the auction with it. But we've got 10 of them so far. I'm trying to fill another three. And so you can kind of see this one has an unworn brassiere in it. Um, it's a costume top. Uh, I'm not just mailing people, I'm not just mailing you lingerie to be weird. It's crafty, I promise. Um, this one has some bottles of Mod Podge sealer and like cut out pieces that I just, like you could make like a really cute like little pocket purse out of this. Like... I just, it's stuff that, we've had that since I lived in Tennessee. So for like eight years, it's been sitting in my stash. Um, and then this one, we've got a crocheted bra, kind of. What is this? No, it's a hip scarf. Started to be. Um, and some paper cutters. Like just some stuff that we've been organizing. It's, I, I love those paper cutters, but they don't cut through foam the way that I needed them to. Um, and we have the Cricut now, and that like replaces all of the paper cutters so um but yeah i kind of wanted to sneak in some <coughs> excuse me um some beads like in our crap boxes so we'll kind of see how that goes but it's like it's i could not justify throwing away there's a lot of usable stuff in there um but it just needs a home that is not in my house right now <laughs> Story says I really want a guy to get that bra. Everybody at least knows somebody with boobs that could use a bra that has like peacock feathers and chains on it. <laughs> right on. Okay. It's like a 34C, so whatever bra cup you wear. I think with enough modification and determination, it would fit you. <laughs> Hehehehe. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about the auction. Um, I think it would fit you, Jim, just maybe not well. <laughs> well fitting is something entirely on its own, like a whole nother thing. Um, back to work. That's not my Randy, is it? Coming home, making door closing noises. Eat! Flipping this around. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull another section of... Hmm. And this one's going to be about six inches long. I'm going to make another wrapped link. <laughs> Push up to a high C, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've discovered a value in bralettes for just keeping bits and pieces from trying to take over the world. <laughs> right on, Cynthia. Honestly, I highly recommend it. It's as a crafty person... Well, I admire a lot of other people's jewelry. I don't buy as much as what, you know, uh, other crafters, I'm sure, would be like, hey, buy my jewelry. But, um, there they are. But I'll buy beads all day. So, <clears throat> there is nothing wrong at all with being, with selling craft supplies. Okay. So I've grabbed four more. Let me go find two rondels, little copper rondel pieces. Jean, we will be starting the auction at 4 our time, um, that's Central Standard Time, to our patrons, and then we'll be going live on YouTube at, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 5.30 Central Standard Time. Belly dancers love that top, it's really cute, and that's, that's, um, Old belly dancers don't go away. They just shake right on Lola. And that's, I had actually designed it as um, kind of a belly dance top, but I, it never got finished. And I kind of, well, I don't really have vending events anymore. And that's kind of, I prefer to sell costumes in person at vending events. That way I can do like sizing and stuff for people <clears throat> and do some in booth modifications. Oh, wow. Cynthia, yeah, for sure. Be stash away. I personally have had a lot of success with the kind of mystery box um, angle. Just for marketing. <clears throat> uh, I believe so. Like, for me, currently, at this moment, Jean, it is 3.15. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Not the Rona, just allergies. Yep, right on, Jean. <laughs> right fit. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm really liking that. What do y'all think of that? <laughs> Jim, Randy loses mind if we actually had people sending us their bras. Don't put it out there. Or don't put that out there. <laughs> the one day at Camp Craft Along, like, have we told y'all about our most recent uh, evolution of our dream moving forward? Um, hey, Yvette. Randy and I want to have it, our own campground kind of because I mean we love staying home more than anything in the world um like and uh I just think it'd be really cool to like because I grew up like the probably best three years of my childhood were spent living at a campground um and we want to have like a craft hall and you know put on camp craft along basically but have our own venue space um, so that we can teach torch work and we can do, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's the compound, Daniel. Uh, so one day when we have the compound built, we'll have a trellis that has every, you can hang your bra whenever you, you have a bra that retires, you can hang it in its, um, it, their melon holders, like literal melon holders on the trellises. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. So with that in mind, uh, everything that Randy and I have been doing around this house, because we felt kind of, I don't know, it, it feels like, because we know we're not going to live in this house forever, because we want, you know, we have this dream. Um, but it felt like, well, do we put in the time and effort and energy to do these projects at this house? And Randy and I were talking about it, and I'm like, this is our test garden. This is our test home where, you know, now is the time for me to be learning how to reupholster, for me to, um, you know, trying out all of these different things. That way, one day, whenever we have moved onto our property, we can know much in, in a much more informed way exactly what it is that we're going to need or have in mind what we want. Like, and so we went ahead and fixed up the shower. Um, and we did our very first tile work and Randy and I both feel very confident that, yeah, we could, we could do this. <clears throat> so that's exciting. Um, but it, it's given us a renewed enthusiasm for just pouring our all and everything into where we are right now, because there's not a thing in this world that we're going to learn or experience that isn't going to not just improve our current situation, like, it's really nice having a fixed-up shower. I'm just saying. <laughs> right on, Jim. <laughs> We're definitely at least going to have to go visit the coast. It sounds amazing. Ooh. Hey, Beth. We are making a necklace for this malachite and turquoise piece. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, it's really given us a whole lot of enthusiasm for pouring everything into where we are now because it's improving our current situation while making us feel better prepared for when we get Camp Craft along and we start establishing it and kind of getting everything sorted. Um, oh, Stormy says, I'm so proud of your success, Vaughn. You're amazing. I have to head out now. Thank you so much for everything. Well, thanks for popping in, Stormy. And for being a part of what we do, because it's, we couldn't be doing this without y'all. Like, hands down, flat out. It just, it'd be just me and Randy kind of sitting around lonely. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's more fun to dream dreams and have them become realities sharing it with y'all. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Have an awesome day, Stormy. Ah, oh, that's so cool, creatively. Do it. <laughs> hey, Randy, my beautiful love. I miss you. What you doing? Randy doesn't like stuff in his ears. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, the large stone is turquoise. It's a very green turquoise, but...
<laughs> you waiting in the waiting room? Wow, creatively. That's amazing. Nah. Well, at least the oil change place is having good business. But yeah, every single one of these malachite beads is just downright gorgeous. Oh, Randy. Where'd you get these, Jim? <laughs> these uh, malachite stones, they're beautiful. Okay, three more. And then we can assemble the necklace. <clears throat> <laughs> all right on diane what's your first favorite stone traveling salesman a few years back man not that i like kidnap people and keep them in my basement but if a traveling salesman came to my house with stones like beads and stuff i'd go full-on wild bill on them like <laughs> they would be t duct taped in my basement. <laughs> I mean, I'd still feed them and everything. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I would commit some felonies. <laughs> yep. You'd have to let them go restock. Oh, that's fair. Have to make the uh, Stockholm Syndrome set in. Or just make a robot clone of him to go back and be like, yes, I need more stones. <laughs> it puts the beads in the basket or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> but instead of holding like a little poodle dog, I'm holding a chicken. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Y'all make me really happy. I'm just sitting here tickling myself. Oops. There we go. But yeah, um, I wasn't able to look at the uh, comments whenever I was talking about it. Do you guys think we should do just straight leather? Or should I add like some beads and stuff and other things in there um, as well? Or do like just separate boxes of those? Ooh, oh, that'd be cool fit. Do it. It's definitely anklet season. Separate boxes is misty. I think you're right. Because that way if somebody wants like a mixed mixed content box, they can bid on it. Well, so far we have ten that are com completely just full-on leather. So... <laughs> Right on. Ooh. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can hear me itching, but it's like, I've got like, that's just so itchy, just right there. It's driving me crazy. Hmm. <laughs> Jaded. Oh, if only the bank dealt in slightly tainted souls, I'd, I'd go collecting and trading out jewelry for it. Wow. Are you selling the leather first? 
Um, I don't know. Uh, we haven't really decided on an order of bidding. Um, we'll probably do like how we normally do and just let people request. Um, like I want to bid on this and I want to bid on that and then like we'll do the lineup and then we'll just run down the auction. Right on Rebel. Well, the thing is, is uh, it's our scrap leather. So, use witch hazel on those itchies right on. <laughs> Always a student is the way to go. Um, I would like a leather box, then if a separate box for beads or cabs, that would be cool too. Right on. I did pink. I didn't know if you wanted me to read that online or or what's up yeah that's true oh christy congratulations oh, that's very exciting <laughs> yeah probably a bit <laughs> they're like oh you can itch but we can't Um, you could put some vinegar on your arm or you can scratch him right on. They're perfect pink. <laughs> Beads are so addicting. I won't buy any more storage containers because I know I'll fill them. Right? Because it's like, I mean, running out of space doesn't stop me from buying more beads. But I would feel like compelled that it's like, well, I have to buy more, more beads because... Well, I have this empty spot right here. <laughs> ah, first grandchild. Uh, we don't have any fresh bananas in the house. We had gotten some and then froze them for like smoothies and banana bread and stuff. Okay, getting some. Right on. Opening a whole bunch of these. Hey, doggy. Oh, we still have quite a bit of leather. This is just our scrap leather. The, um, like, second and third use, like, cuts and stuff that it's... I've saved so much of it that we're now at the point that we have so much that none of it's getting used because I try to sift through it and I'm like, oh my god, there's just too much. Too much. But we still have about seven or eight rolls of um, veg tanned that we haven't even cut into that we'd gotten in prep for con season for making a bunch of costumes and stuff and then, well, there was no con season. <laughs> Hey Janice, we are making the chain, like making this pendant into a necklace. Actually, I'm about to take a side quest. Um, I get my leather from Springfield Leather in Springfield, Missouri, and Tandy Leather. I really like the Tandy in Springfield, Missouri. Tim, the manager, takes really good care of this. <laughs> right on, Tracy. I'm going to take this tripod just right on over here. So our next fairy house that we're working on is going to be a toad house kind of just rough drafting silk floral um, it's going to be the I don't know if we're going to call it the toad boat or the lily pad 
or the Kraken Lounge or what? Like, I don't know. <laughs> right, Daniel? All uh, right, on Tim. So these are another thing that we have in the works. This is a rose quartz point. And this is an aqua aura quartz. I've been really inspired by Wild Yamco and Handmade Mystic over on Instagram. Hey, <sighs> Kraken Lounge. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to make a couple of toad houses because we've got tadpoles for days out in the ponds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know if y'all have Tandy Leathers over where you are, Daniel, but you can get a side for significantly, with the hair on still, for significantly more affordable than that um, at Tandy. Again, if you've got one in your area. Um, I gotta go grab my brush. I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm, gotcha. So this is Mod Podge Hard Coat. I really, really like it. And I sculpted these mushrooms from, uh, Epoxy sculpt because I had a little bit left over from doing our last fairy house. The house feels so empty without Randy in it. That's, I'm hoping so, Alyssa. That we'll kind of be able to put the... I was going to make a little necklace with the string, like get it strung through the... Uh, through the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. <laughs> I forgot you were watching. I didn't think you had the sound on. Well, it's like you don't realize how much, not noise, but like just the sounds of somebody else in the room, like their chair creaking or the tapping of a keyboard or a mouse clicking. Like they're not bad sounds, but when they're not there, it's just very quiet. <laughs> and the quiet is nice, but... Or the farting, that's true. <laughs> Though I do have that with Sam and Dee here. <laughs> So to dry, I'm just stringing a scrap bit of wire through our mushroom and then propping it between, <laughs> just like that, just upside down. So these, uh, I learned a thing that I'd like to share with y'all because these are going to be going into some of the crap boxes uh, we're going to be bidding on in the auction, some of the jewelry ones. So these electroformed up really nicely. Um, this one, 
I didn't put um, latex on, so it, the the resin became acid etched. Um, and then the rest of them I put through the tumbler, and they didn't hold up very well at all. And then I tried sanding them, and that didn't go very well at all. So each of these will be in where we'll have four crap boxes that'll have one of these in each of them. And the electroforming came out so nice. I just miss that. So that's something that'll be in the crap boxes. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, come on. Ow. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, come back over here. <laughs> I guess I wanted to put on like two more coats. Uh, of... Oh, I gotta wash, rinse out my brush. I'll be right back. using now that the spray to seal polymer clay has been discontinued. I have been using Mod Podge hard coat and I've just been painting it on which is it works really well. I hate painting it on uh, to like fairy houses. Um, it is not as easy as just spraying. Yeah, PIM 2. Um, um, Ooh, I was thinking of doing that, Jade, and then, um, and then I decided I'd just send it to somebody else, <laughs> like, because it makes me sad, uh, and so that way, you know, it can be in a crap box, and somebody else can get it and fix it up, and it'll be like a collaboration piece. Thanks for blocking that, Daniel. Um, <laughs> he legitimately made me spurt my coffee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, if that troll is still in here, um, <laughs> you did make me laugh, but you gotta quit. Like, no, no coming in here trolling, man. <laughs> No, it's straight up like he came in and was like, oh gosh, I don't even know what they said. They're like, hello, I am a gay. And just, I was drinking my coffee and was like, bitch me too, you ain't special. <laughs> like in my head, but. <sighs> ah, Pro Pool says super glue wiped on should make it clear again and holds up. Well, I'm going to send it to one of y'all so y'all can do that. <laughs> Like, it's, I have decided. <laughs> Daniel, he says, I'm introducing myself like that from now on. Hi, I'm Daniel, and I'm gay. Right on. <laughs> it is, I don't know. It's like, unless someone's propositioning me, I don't feel like they need to know. Anyways. Right on, Jessica. And that one actually glows in the dark. Oh, no. Neighbors, what are you doing? They're just driving through. Oh, that's a cute doggy, though. Through the grass of our median. I'm really glad I've never bothered to plant anything there. Um, Just with a bunch of people in the bed of their truck. And a very cute dog. Right on, Kelly. Well, it's, they were nice and clear until I soaked them in acid for two days and then put them through a tumbler for like 24 hours. Um, so, but until then, they were, they were fine. I don't know what happened. 
What? Randy Swoon? Are they pulling it into the shop or are you coming home? All right, on Metatron. Lurk away, my friend. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cynthia and I'm desperate for attention. Hey, Cynthia. So are we. Welcome to the club. Been in there for a minute now. Ooh, Randy. I know he's almost home, puppy. No, straight up, it's a lonely world out there, you guys. Like, I don't know. And being a grown-up sucks. Like, because there's, like, programs and stuff for, like, whenever you're a kid, you can do, like, extracurricular activities or, you know, and some schools will have, like, scholarships for different things or fundraising opportunities. But as an adult, like, people are like, if you don't have your shit together, good luck. Like, and they just you kind of just get abandoned uh, by society a little bit. Um, and so that's why I, I feel like I've predominantly focused my teaching efforts on adults um, is, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't seem like maybe we're societally conditioned to be there for each other as much it's like well they're a grown-up they should have it figured out it's like no no i don't have it figured out thanks very much um <laughs> yeah you could use uv resin tracy karen from fine arts i'll have to check that out kelly she's you're preaching to the choir here <laughs> And that's kind of what we want to do with Camp Craft Along Crystal is adult summer camp to be able to teach um, not just the crafty arts, but like Randy has four years of wood shop underneath his belt. Um, and I'd really love for him to be able to have a shop, but if we could just have kind of like an intensive maker space, uh, like craft makers or camp camp maker space you know where it's like you can come and get an intensive without having to pay for a college degree um to learn a new trade or skill or hobby or something that you know if it's not for making a business out of it's for making happy out of um because there's so much that like you know you, you do everything that you're supposed to do you get good grades you go to college you you know, you, you do the thing, you follow the script, and then you're, then what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> right on, Gary, right? Check out the Craftsman on UV Resin. Oh my god, I love the Craftsman. <laughs> yeah, UV Resin is pretty stunning. Joe says, yeah, why do we think that education is only for those in high school or college? Education should be ongoing. Amen, Joe. Like, 100%. Like, that's... I, I hope to be learning something new the day I die. And not, like, dying in my mid-30s or something. But, like, I want to be, like, an old, an old fart. <laughs> like, but I want to be learning something. I, I want there to be an unfinished project on my desk. You know, I want there to be something that I was enthusiastically trying to get better at or trying to learn or, you know, because it, it keeps keeps life spicy. How Mozart of you? Ah, Kelly, I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, Phyllis. I'm a multi-artist. I love to do it all. Right? And that's a ton of fun. I do have a ton of respect, though, for the people who are there. We have a lot of friends, you know, here in the room that they, they are specialists. And I admire that. Their focus is admirable. Let me see you just saying, huh, would have thought I'd die by coffee, not from drinking. <laughs> right, Daniel? Revel says, I started learning jewelry at making at 60 holy crap and you're so good at it too rebel like almost to the point where i'm like damn you're really good at that <laughs> like i'm a little jealous <laughs> like you're so good <laughs> but i'm 
more than anything, I'm just, I'm very proud of you. Like, you, you've taken what the world has to offer and you've done so phenomenally at it. So, and that goes for a lot of y'all in here. All right, on Lilla. Right on. Mm. Yeah, Joe 100%. She says, especially for older people, if you don't use it, you lose it. People who engage their brains do a lot better than those who don't. Yeah. Oh, just memories of my dad. I'm going to try it on. Well, okay, we got to put the, we got to put the clasp and crap on it. Let me see if I can find. Do I even have a class? Where would, where would it be? Oh no. I rearranged things trying to clean stuff and I don't know where anything is. Crap. Okay, there it is. Maybe? Okay. Well, I don't have any copper colored clasps, but I'm going to use this one. It's a bronze. It's close enough. And now I'm going to attach that with one of these little Do you have a video on how you wrapped the pendant? This actually, I followed along with um, Inoxana Crafts tutorial. I can't remember the name of it specifically, but it's the one that looks exactly like that. Um, like I added a bead in on the top, but... Oh, puppy, I think Randy's home. Y'all, I gotta go greet Randy at the door and give him a kiss. I'll be right back. Yeah, and then I ran it again, and then none came out. So where'd you get the other beads? I grabbed them off my desk. What? Who's Randy? <laughs> uh, doo -doo. Well, yeah. Assuming you don't do too much more driving. Yeah. We'll be out of debt before the oil in the car goes bad. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's intense. Holy smokes! Misty says Randy needs a sliding compound miter saw so he can cut the boards for the glow forge. Yes, he does, Misty. What? And I've been trying to get him one for like two years, but he keeps being like, "No, no, we'll not this time." And I get it because we don't have anywhere, like truly, we don't have anywhere to store wood tools right now um, that wouldn't just get straight covered in chicken poop. Um, so we're working on step one is get the new chicken enclosure built. Um, and we're still gathering up like discount lumber and stuff for that. <coughs> and then we'll get the chickens moved over into their new house. And then we need to put a new floor into the 10 by 10 shed. Um, and then I feel like a big dingus sitting in there at the waiting room for like 15 minutes before I realized I was watching last week's live stream. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, Randy. <laughs> I'm like, why am I only doing more mushrooms? <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's, I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna invest in tools for Randy, I want, you know, I want to be able to take care of them and keep them nice. Um, so for now, um, we just laser the Glowforge, uh, boards in like, how, where in the heck's the clasp at? There it is. Um, we just laser them in half with the Glowforge because we have a pass-through slot. So, 
but no, he's he's had his eye on like we'll go by and pet it whenever we're in Lowe's on um a sliding compound miter saw and it's like oh that's nice. Ooh girl, I think I like it. And that's on its shortest setting on the chain. Welcome home, welcome. <laughs> Close the door, la la la. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cynthia. I was thinking about doing some like plus size pixy fashion uh, videos over on my vlog to just kind of. <sighs> I'm so glad you guys like it. Come bid on it in Friday's auction. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> And I really like that kind of green. And we can bend it just a little bit more. There we go. I like that. Um, uh, bye, Jenny. Okay. Um, there we go. Very cool. Time to make another one. <laughs> yeah, super subtle. <laughs> I'm not a subtle person. I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we are at the two hour mark. Randy's home. Um, and I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna get a little bit more work done. We're gonna get prepped up so that we can go get Maddie. I'm gonna go panic clean my house, you guys, because she doesn't have allergies, I don't think, but she will after she stays here for a month. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us in today's video. Um yeah, the auction starts at 4 p.m. to our $1 net patrons and starts at 5.30 to everybody here on YouTube. Um, I know, right, Kelly? And then it'll probably go until like 8 or 9. We're going to try to not run too late because Daniel's like on the other side of the earth and the sun works different over there. Um, like it goes down sooner. <laughs> ah, Okay. So I wanted to, I, I didn't know if you had wanted me to show it, Pinky. So before I go, um, Pinky, can you share your, um, can you share your uh, company info? Y'all check out these super cute booties that are just perfect. I'm not going to show y'all my feet on camera because I feel oddly self-conscious about that for some reason today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they're very well put together they're very comfy and they're just the cutest things I love the little strappy tops so thank you so much Pinky and what's the um if you could share like a instead of link like put like a space before the, like the dot com <laughs> but thank you guys so much again God's gift 19 God's gifts 19 right on <laughs> but thank you guys so much and we will see y'all in Friday's auction and in Saturday's patron exclusive live stream after the auction so we'll see y'all happy crafting you guys bye <laughs>